What's up, peeps? You may have actually been using the wrong aim response cur type all this time in Warzone, and let me explain to you why. Now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be going into the same exact details of what aim response cur type because there are plenty of videos on that. But I just feel that this just like gibbers your head and makes a big ball and mess of your head. So I just feel that settings, when it comes to settings in video games, instead of explaining the exact point of how they are and like the mathematical equations how they work, I feel that explaining this in simpler terms and who these are more geared to and the feel that you get when you use them are more important. So let's jump into that. So let's jump into the standard aim response curve type. This is your basically when you come play out of the box. And this is going to be for players that are a little bit clumsy in Warzone. And what does clumsy mean? Clumsy means that you move your analog sticks way too much to the right or way too much to the left. So that you end up missing most of your shots, right? Because you're not an accurate player. Now, why is this? It's because it has an AI computer built to it that let's say if you move your, your analog stick abruptly to the right or left, it's it's gonna kind of slow it down to try and compensate this sort of movement. So if you're the sort of player that wants to do flicks and stuff like that, you know, like immediately snap on enemies left to right, well, this isn't gonna be the one for you. But again, if you're a casual player and you don't really wanna be doing flicks, but you wanna have your aim on point and you know, have slow sensitivity and beam people, then this might be the one for you. Now, the next one that we got is linear. And this one is pretty easy to explain. It just basically means that whatever you do with your analog stick, it's gonna reflect. So as fast as you go with your analog stick that's how your sensitivity that's how your aim is going to move if you slow it down it's going to go slower so it's just basically a one-to-one -one ratio like the the amount of input that you put in your analog stick that's what's going to display just kind of like a mouse and who would use these kind of linear uh things where linear is actually geared for two types of players one you could actually use linear if you are playing on a really low sensitivity like something like around four four five five six six because if you would run a low sensitivity and then you have standard it's just going to feel completely slow but if you're already running on a slow sensitivity right meaning that even if you move all the way to the right your, your dude isn't going to go crazy because you're slow you might want to use linear and this is actually a good way to use it now the other player that might use linear is somebody that's maybe a veteran and that thinks that they like they, they just want they don't want any ai helping them they want to do everything for themselves and again if you're pretty good at aiming then you might want to use this again not necessarily on the lower zoom and I'm gonna get to this pretty soon the last one is dynamic and I feel a lot of people have a really hard time explaining dynamic like they're like s response curve type and it slows down here and, and increases here and here and there and I just see way too many people getting confused about this even giving me the wrong definition in the comment section about what dynamic is in the simplest terms of what dynamic does is it tries to combine you know it's gonna have to combine a little bit of both right so there is some AI to it right slowing it down and what it basically does is that at first when you're moving your stick you know let's say you want to move it all the way to the right at first it's going to have a little gradual speed uh, build up right so it's going to go slower than faster 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 but then once you get near the end it's actually going to slow down again so who are these best for? So this is actually for players that want to do flicks, right? Because you can still do flicks left and right because it's, it's going faster and faster. But again, it's also trying to help you with the computer because at the end, it's going to slow down so you don't overcompensate that aim. So that's why a lot of people have a lot of trouble sometimes like playing with this one. Like sometimes I, I, I feel that's why people like linear or standard because this one's a little bit weird, right? It like speeds up and then it slows down. And But again, once you get used to this one this is the one that i've been using for so long i don't even remember it's been months and months and months that i've been using this one but now now that we've explained all these types and, and and who would use these let me explain to you the biggest tip of them all that i assure you no other youtuber has been telling you and that is that you should try a couple of these other ones even though a youtuber tells you to use this so some guys can tell yep linear is meta use this one dynamic is meta use this one you're a clumsy player use standard again I'm, I'm explaining the overall way that these work right but the best way like I told you at the beginning to find out which one is best for you is which one feels best for you not about the exact definition the mathematical equations it is all about feel that is the most important thing when it comes to setting and when it comes to aiming so something that i'm going to do is i actually never tried linear I, I may have tried it once when i lowered my sensitivity because i was just fooling around and trying to play with it but what i'm going to do right now is i'm actually going to switch to linear right now and play maybe about two to three days with it and that's something that i suggest you do i don't just suggest you to change once you know like change for one game and say oh my god nah this is trash it don't nah you gotta switch it for a couple days 
play a couple hours with a bunch of them, and then you'll realize, you'll be like, hmm, am I aiming worse? Am I hitting more shots? And you'll realize that by yourself. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna switch it to linear. I'm gonna play two or three days, and I'm gonna release a video for you guys letting you know what were my thoughts from switching to dynamic to linear, because I know there's a lot of people that play in dynamic, and maybe you don't wanna make that switch to linear. So ladies and gentlemen, that was my video for today. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and which one you are using right now. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you all in the next one.